In Prairie de Rochure, which is known for its French heritage, stands a house which eventually took on the airs of its neighborhood. Today it stands five times larger than when it began, a house whose history started in 1800 as a single room. This was the first house. This particular room was the first house. The original owners left to seek their fortune in California, and in 1830, a Mr. Unry, who had five children, purchased the house. Mr. Unry had four daughters and a son. The oldest daughter, Angelique, married the mayor of St. Louis. They had frequent boat trips up and down the Mississippi, and one day the boiler blew up and the older daughter, Angelique, and her baby jumped overboard and they perished. The second oldest daughter married Abraham Lee, who later hit it rich on a lottery ticket and used part of the winnings to build a mansion next door. He lived here only several years and then he, uh, he passed away. At that time, the third owner, Mr. Bricky, purchased the Creole house, and he purchased the mansion. The mansion stood there until 1970, when vandals broke in it and burned it. All that's left of the uh, Bricky mansion is that little building there, which was probably first the carriage house and later converted uh, to a schoolhouse and other uses. Mr. Abraham Lee uh, put on the two rooms next to this original room. Mr. Bricky put on the four rooms on the opposite side of the house and then also a porch all the way across the front. And this uh, really made it look more like a French home, but originally it was not a French home. The reason that it's called the Creole House is because the first habitants in this home were Creoles. This uh, mantle is the only original piece of uh, furniture to the house. The rest of the furniture, for example, this particular armoire uh, came from an old, old French family here in Prairie de Rocher. But there are pieces in the house which have ties back to early Illinois history such as this china cabinet. The cabinet belonged to our first governor of Illinois, Shadrick Bond. On the shelves are a couple of pieces of china given by the village to the Unri family upon their move westward. Yes, I'm told that that portrait is uh, the portrait of uh, Gilchrist Taylor, who was the mayor of St. Louis. In the kitchen is this stove from Kaskaskia Island, along with another piece of furniture that once belonged to Governor Bond, which he used to store medicine and herbs. In the 17, 1970s and 80s, uh, we totally renovated this building. And uh, a few very interesting bits of trash were <laughs> found, uh, but nothing of great value except the one coin. A, it was a custom when a house was rebuilt or built to put a fresh minted coin with the present date someplace in the building. And such a coin was found from the uh, reconstruction done in the 1857 by the Brickies when they bought this place. Today the old iron fence still outlines the grounds of the Bricky estate. At one end stands this gate that once opened to a shaded path. When a, when a family member passed away, the body was carried by carriage to that gate. And the pallbearers then carried the coffin through an avenue of trees that were once there on up to the cemetery where it was laid, that is laid to rest. The mansions are gone, along with the fortunes and families who once lived here. But the house with the humble beginnings still remains a link to one town's pioneering past. To schedule a tour of the Creole House in Prairie de Rochure, call 618-282-2245.